Hey guys, um, we're going to be talking about how to use a clinometer in this video. Um, so clinometers are just really handy tools that you can use to actually get the height of a tree. Um, so in this case, we're going to be looking at uh, this spruce tree, this big tall one straight ahead. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Um, cool, so we have our, um, our tape out here measuring 20 meters, so we're going to stand 20 meters away from the tree. We're on pretty flat ground here, so we don't need to do anything to um, to take this slope into account. Um, but that's something you would need to do if you were on a slope. Um, but I'm gonna look. And you can see in this little depiction of a clinometer in that little view window, there are two scales. There's the degree scale, which is what we'll be using on the left, and the percent scale, which is on the right. And you can see that little crosshair in the middle that's what you're looking at um, to try to match that up with the top or the base of the tree. Um, so I'm gonna look in through the little the oops the little view view window here and um, look at the very top of the tree. I'm gonna keep both eyes open. I'm looking through my left eye here, and I'm going to read the number on the scale. Um, and there is a line that goes through the the view window um, and with both eyes open it's almost like an optical illusion and I can see that line coming across at the top of the tree um, so I'm gonna read the number that's there and here I am getting uh, about 44 um, and so next I'm gonna uh, look at the base of the tree and point the clinometer right there keep looking with both eyes open and I am getting negative three. So now to calculate the height of our tree, we are going to use this formula where we take our distance from the base of the tree and we're going to multiply that by our the tangent of our degree reading that we got from the top of the tree minus the tangent of our degree reading from the base of the tree. So in our example, that's 20 for the 20 meter distance times the tangent of 44 minus the tangent of negative 3. So these are the numbers we get when we take the tangents of 44 and negative 3 and we do out the math and we get that our tree height is 20.3 meters tall. One more thing it's important to mention when using clinometers is to make sure that you know if you are taking a tree reading that is positive or negative because the scale does go from positive to negative so make sure you take that into account to know if you're really adding or subtracting the bottom number.